Okay, we're going to look at a closed loop control system now. And what I'd like to start with is a closed loop control system. Let's just do one that is a um, automatic lighting system. So this would be like if you had a security light at um, your work on the outside that came on as the sun came down. All right, so the first thing I'd like you to think about when you're thinking about this system is what components would I need? So what are the components you would need? I want to react to the light changing, okay? And I'm wanting to react to the quantity of light. So we have two sensors that deal with light. One's analog, one's digital. We have the phototransistor and the photoresistor. So it's the photoresistor that tells us how much light that we'd want to use as our sensor. Okay, And then what do we need for an output? What action did we want to take? Well, we want to turn a security light on or a light on outside as that happens. So here's what um, we might do. So let's start with first choice, the green man. Okay, and so as we're simulating this situation, let's go in and check and be sure that we're connected to our controller. We are, it's running, okay. And I have a photoresistor, and I've plugged it into I4, all right, photoresistor. So I need to come in and change the pull down menu here to analog 5 kilo ohm, all right. So now that I have that, analog 5 kilo ohm, I can see that right now I would consider it still daylight and it's 599 so if I begin to simulate night coming I'm going to start to put my hand over it and that's starting to be night and you see the number goes up okay so if it's very bright outside it might be less it's kind of overcast today so it's about 621 so I'm just going to leave that open. I can pull it over to the side and I can continue to um, work. All right. So when that number gets to something around, let's say 1500, I want to turn the light on. Okay. I've made that decision based on the number in the box here. Okay. Because this is daylight. Um, and it's going to get darker as the sun sets. So I need to look for the programming element. Right, so I need a branch function and I need an analog branch function. This is a digital branch function. See how as I hover over it says digital branch. This is an analog branch. So I'm going to click here and drag this in. I'm going to drag these over just a little bit. All right, I said I'd plug that into I4. So I need to change this to open this up and make it be I4. All right, and then it is not an NTC resistor. It is instead a photoresistor. All right, and that is five kilo ohm. It adjusts the conditions there. All right, so when I1 is greater than zero, all right, so what question do we want to ask here? So let's think about it. We want to do something once the number gets greater than dusk, okay? And we'll say that dusk happens at about 1500, all right? So we'll say is I4, let's open that dialog box back up, is I4 gr greater than 1500, okay? And okay, all right. If it's no, what do we want to do? If it's yes, what do we want to do? All right, if I4 is greater than 1500, it means what? That it's gotten dark outside. See, I'm putting my hand there near, and you can see that it goes up, all right? If it's gotten dark outside, okay, we want to turn the light on. All right, I've got a light plugged in to M1. I'm gonna turn it on, okay. All right, 
then let's say for right now I'm just going to turn it on for um, three seconds because I'm just testing my program right now and then I'm going to let my program terminate. Alright, now here, no, if I4 is not greater than 1500 second, that greater than 1500, then what are we going to do? Okay, if it's not greater than 1500, we want it to just keep waiting. Okay, and so this is a um, way to analyze I4, the light will come on, it'll stay on for three seconds and the program will end. Let's test our program. All right, I'm going to turn it on and it's staying right now here, I4 greater than 1500. All right, because it's still full daylight outside. So as it begins to get dark outside, all right, what happens? Oh, so the value is increasing and now my lights come on, it's going to stay on for three seconds and then the program is going to terminate. Okay, so let's think about too, how would we really want this light to function, right? We would want the light to function and stay at that until the sun came up again, right? So rather than this three seconds and the program terminating, we'd really like this system to be continuous when it's dark outside. The light will come on. When it's light, the light will go off. Alright, so this is the condition that turns the light on. As it gets dark, okay, if it's, if this is the value we consider dark enough to turn the light on, the light will come on. Now we want it to stay on unless it gets light outside again. So let's put another analog branch in and Let's change that to I4, all right? And now we want it to be when it gets light. So is that going to be less than, greater than, what's that equal to, what's that gonna be, all right? It's an analog input. We're probably not gonna get an exact number, so we don't wanna use equal. We're gonna wanna use less than, okay? So as the sun comes up and it begins to get light again, and we'll say that happens at about that where we want to turn the light off, okay, is maybe around, we can use the same value even, 1500. Okay, we'll say that's gotten light enough and then we would want to take an action. So we'll say, okay. All right, so if it's less than 1500, if it's no, we just want to stay right here in this area and keep waiting for a change. If that, if it's yes, okay, it's gotten light outside now, we don't want the light to keep running in full daylight, and we'll turn the lamp off then, and we'll cycle back to the top to continue to let the loop adjust appropriately, okay? So now we're going to test our program and see what happens. So let's start it. All right. Now it's at 783. It's still light enough outside. And as it gets dark, it comes on. Now you can see that the light's on, the light's on. It's stuck here. We're stopped right here waiting for the sun to come up. So it's actually moving through this loop so fast. And so it looks like it's staying right there. So as the sun begins to come up, the light is going to go off. You can see we've moved through there, the light's off, and now we're back here, okay? So this is what this simulation looks like. I'll show you again, all right? It's gotten dark, it stays there, it's waiting, it's waiting. The sun begins to come back out and it turns the light off and it proceeds. This is closed loop, all right? Closed loop means it reacts to its environment. When things react to their environment, they tend to, um, they have feedback from sensors. In this case, our sensor was 
a photo register. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what this program looks like. All right, you'll see now that um, the light's on because when it came on it was uh, dark. I'm going to turn it just a little bit so it gets some more of the outside light. All right, and as I simulate darkness coming in, the light comes on and then the light will go back off. All right, so that's how a closed loop system works.